discussion takes you into the unknown because you're not exactly sure what kids are going to be thinking or asking. How do we begin to help them talk to each other and not just back and forth to us? And how do we really shift the norms of the classroom so that discussion really becomes an opportunity for meaning to come together? Teachers are doing investigations, but it's in the discussion format is where they really can bang ideas around and make sense of what they've seen and, and explain that. Our particles would still be moving, but at any given time you could take an average. Of the discussions after the investigations, it's more than just a sum of ideas. that People notice different things. But just act to try to keep us focused around that, that core discussion question. Participation and is encouraged and respectful disagreement is encouraged. I think to get back a little bit to what Corinne was talking about, it, it has to do a little bit, I think, with the, the space between the particles. The hardest part about the investigations was you didn't always get the answer. I'm feeling like that has to have something to do with this as well. Okay. What are we doing? Uh, right. He's not going to give us the answer. No, no, no. He's going to make us wait and figure Stop it out. <laughs> and that you wanted that. And having the discussion and throwing ideas off of all of the people that have also done the investigation, we were able to talk things through. Participants are encouraged to build on contributions and ideas and how the facilitator is really just to steer the conversation a little bit. The alcohol is evaporating in the five or ten minutes it takes you to mix and look again. Uh, can you think of a way you do that? Are we staying with the topic and digging deeper? Or have we taken a sidetrack and we need to go back? Is everybody participating? And can I, as a facilitator, pull other people into the conversation? Sure. Come on, let's come out of cover on it. Am I reinforcing those discussion norms? Did it respond to her? Um, I'm thinking that maybe we should have gone back and tried to compress 40 cc's of alcohol. I'm left with lots of questions here. As I think about my classroom practice, I think that maybe I don't allow enough time for those kind of um, opportunities for children to talk about what they think they already know and then also giving them the time to have discussions about challenging each other's ideas about what they know. A lot of times they're looking for me to tell them, is this the right idea, looking for that validation. And I'm trying to get them more away from that and more thinking about what other students have to say rather than just me. I have made a total shift in the way I think about talking to kids, asking them their ideas, really valuing their opinions before we start a topic. And having these courses and having the scientists and, and working with everybody has made me feel more confident about teaching science because I feel smarter about it.